Hello, welcome to Biology, the Central Study of Life. As prokaryotes evolved, they exploded and changed young Earth. The oldest known fossils dating from 3.5 billion years ago are fossils uh, of uh, stromatolites, uh, which are rock-like structures composite of many layers of bacteria and sediment. Present-day uh, stromatolites are found in a few warm, shallow, salty bays of bacteria community so complex existed 3.5 billion years ago. It is a reasonable hypothesis that life are originated much earlier, perhaps as early as 5.9 billion years ago when uh, Earth began to cool to um, a temperature at which liquid water could exist. It is clear that prokaryotic life was already uh, flourishing when Earth was still relatively young, fairly early um, uh, in prokaryotic history, two main evolutionary branches, uh, the bacteria and the uh, archaea, diverged. Many species in these two languages continue to uh, arrive uh, in a wide variety of environments today. The first prokaryotes, the early protobionts that, uh, that uh, had both self-replicating and metabolic uh, capabilities, must have used molecules for their growth um, uh, and replication that were already present in the primitive soup. However, even the early successful uh, protobionts probably had uh, to make at least some of the molecules they required. Eventually, these protobionts uh, were replaced by organisms that could produce all their uh, needed compounds from molecules in their environments. These protobionts diversified into a rich variety of autotrophs, some of which could use light energy. The, the uh, diversification of autotrophs likely encouraged the emergence of heterotrophs. Uh, which could live uh, on the products that the autotrophs excreted uh, or on the autotrophs themselves. These uh, autotrophs and heterotrophs uh, were the first prokaryotes and they were Earth souls inhabitant from at least 3.5 to about 2 billion years ago. As we will see, uh, these organisms transformed um, the biosphere of our planet. <laughs> Electron transport systems, the uh, chemoasmatic mechanism of ATP synthesis in which a complex set of uh, membrane-bound proteins pass electrons uh, to uh, uh, reducible electron acceptors with the generation of ATP from ATP. Is common to all uh, three, uh, three domains of life, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. There is a strong evidence that this electron transport mechanism actually originated uh, in organisms that lived before the last common ancestor of all present-day life. The earliest of these electron transport systems likely evolved before there was any free oxygen in the environment and before the appearance of photosynthesis. The organisms that used uh, it would have required a plentiful supply of energy-rich compounds such as molecule hydrogen, methane, and hydrogen sulfide. A great challenge facing scientists stud studying uh, the origin of life is to determine the steps by which this electron transport mechanism originated and how important early versions uh, of it might have been in the emergence uh, of the first cells. We will explore the metabolically diverse uh, prokaryotes that use different types of electron transport um, in, uh, in chapter 27. Now, uh, the important uh, point is that considerable metabolic diversity among prokaryotes living in various uh, environments uh, had already evolved more than 3 billion years ago. Most subsequent evolution has been more structural than metabolic. Um, Photosynthesis and the oxygen revolution. Uh, photosynthesis probably evolved very early in prokaryotic history, but in prokaryotic versions did not supply uh, did not uh, split water and uh, liberate oxygen um, we will see examples of such non-oxygenic photosynthesis among living prokaryotes the only living photosynthetic prokaryotes that generate o2 oxygen are the uh, sana sana um, uh, cyanobacteria 
are the cyanobacteria must atmospheric uh, oxygen is uh, O2 is um, of uh, biological origin from the water splitting step of, of photosynthesis with this oxygenic uh, photosynthesis first evolved the free O2 is uh, or it produced probably dissolved in the surrounding water until the seas and lakes uh, become or became saturated with O2, additional O2 then uh, reacted with dissolved iron and uh, precipitated as iron oxide, which accumulated as uh, sediments. These sediments were compressed into band into um, banded uh, iron formation, red layers of rock containing iron uh, oxide uh, ox oxide uh, that are a source of iron ore today. Uh, once all the dissolved iron had um, uh, precipitated additional O2 finally uh, began to gas out of the seas and lakes uh, and uh, enter the uh, atmosphere. This change left its mark in the rusting of iron-rich uh, terrestrial rocks, a process that began uh, about 2.7 billion years ago. This uh, chronology implies that uh, cyanobacteria may have originated as early as 3.5 billion years ago when the microbial mass that left fossilized um, uh, stromatolites begin forming the amount of atmospheric O2 increased gradually from about 2.7 or 2 to 2.2 billion years ago but then shot up relatively rapidly to more than 10% of its present level. This oxygen revolution had an enormous impact on life. Uh, in its free molecule and uh, ionized forms and in compounds such as hydrogen uh, peroxide, oxygen attacks chemical bonds and can inhibit enzymes and damage cells it increasing atmosphere uh, concentration likely domed um, many prokaryotic groups some species survived in habitats that remained uh, anaerobic where we find their descendants still living today as uh, obligate uh, anaerobic or ana, uh, anaerobes. Uh, among other survivors, a diversity of adaptations uh, to the changing atmosphere evolved, including cellular respiration, which uses oxygen in the process of uh, uh, harvesting the energy stored in organic molecules. The early gradual rise in atmospheric uh, O2 levels was associated with the uh, photosynthesis by ancient uh, synabiotic um, uh, cyanobiotic, cyanobiotic, uh, cyanobacteria, but uh, what caused the accelerated rise in O2 a few hundred million years later? One hypothesis is that it followed the evolution of eukaryotic cells containing chloroplasts. Okay, back to this picture. Notice that. Notice that. Banded iron formation evidence of oxygenic uh, photosynthesis. The uh, reddish streaks in this sedimentary, notice that uh, sediment rock are bands of iron oxide. Notice that, closer look. Uh, 